we're quite small town here in England because we originated Cup football, 1872, the FA Cup, League football, 1888, with the start of the Football League. I think we've got this attitude that we're way ahead of the game. And actually, when you immerse yourself in world sport, you find that, yes, of course, we're a market leader. Yes, we've got brilliant history and tradition. But there are a lot of things that other markets are doing that leave us way behind. My history with the organisation started when I was sitting at an end of season award ceremony minding my own business when the now president of GIS, Shona Friedman, bounded up to me and said something along the lines of, I don't know who you are, but my boss seems quite impressed. Will you come and have a chat with him? And so this brilliant relationship has been spawned where I presented for UCFB, the Future Leaders Conference, three years in a row. And then I was lucky enough to head off to the first of the global summits in Melbourne, which was just an extraordinary experience to be exposed to so many different people and sports and facets of sport and I was due to go to New York, Atlanta and Toronto in person but ended up doing them virtually and it's just been a, a huge learning experience for me. I, the, the, the bits that I have picked up through the association have just been, they have stretched me beyond all belief. I think the thing that the Global Summits does is it broadens everybody's horizons. I think we're, we're quite small town here in England because we originated Cup football, 1872, the FA Cup, League football, 1888, with the start of the Football League. I think we've got this attitude that we're way ahead of the game. And actually, when you immerse yourself in world sport, you find that, yes, of course, we're a market leader. Yes, we've got brilliant history and tradition. But there are a lot of things that other markets are doing that leave us way behind. Just to give you a little example, when we went to the MCG, their recycling facility for old food scraps that they now mulch up with this system and use to fertilize all the sort of green space around the stadium just blew my mind and that's just one example of the brilliant stuff you get to look into it just it expands you so much to realize there's so much going on we know so little about I think if, if anybody's going into the world of work and they can say that they've been immersed in the North American markets, they've been, uh, uh, they've been immersed in the Australian market and then the many different shades in between with all the virtual stuff that GIS can provide too. Uh, and the exposure to so many prominent people on all levels, you know, on the on the pitch, the industry side of things, the boardroom side of things. I mean, the advisory board of GIS alone, just it, it, when you see the experience that amounts that it must be hundreds and hundreds of years. So I think to have that, to have that backbone to their careers and to have the alumni as well of knowing that people have been on these courses with could be spread to the four winds in the future. I, it, it's got to be the best possible start for any student. I'm going to play my own card quite heavily and say the number one piece of advice to all of the current intake of GIS students would be work on your presentation skills because it's not just about our industry skills, it's about how we inspire, educate, inform, negotiate, move people in the direction of our arguments, make concise, passionate arguments. It's a crucial essential life-changing skill.